Oh, Good morning, everybody. This is the Wolf Driver coming to you live once again. I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see what's going on. We are in the groomer's van, and that's right, Chase is on the table. Chase is the brown-eyed husky. Show him your eyes so they know. And he's uh, roughly 45 pounds. You can see it was doing a little bit of snow in here. <laughs> All the hair that's come off of him. He's missed a groom or two because he had some surgery on his paw. He had a benign tumor removed. He's doing great, but this is the first time we could give him a groom. Usually, all the huskies, all my wolf pack, are groomed monthly. And Danielle here, she comes to, Hi. she comes here and grooms them in her van, which is equipped, of course, with a full tub and grooming table and all that good stuff. These, once again, if you don't know me, are long-haired. They're called Wooly Huskies. They're long-haired, double-coated dogs. So they're a lot to maintain. Um, if you haven't already, join the group. There you go. Look at that. Called uh, Wolf Driver Husky Overload. I know a few people have asked about grooming, and I've addressed some of the issues. And I'm sure Danielle can chime in sometimes and help yeah. out. This is what she specializes in, and um, she's incredible. So you can see, again, all the hair that comes off of them. This is um, a little bit more than usual, again, because he's missed, um, I think he's missed one or two times. What? Two times? Two times. And we're at the end of the grooming session now where he actually has already been um, bathed and blown, blown out and all that good stuff. So he's just getting brushed out here. A lot of the hair releases from the, from the bath. And then the blow dryer actually blows it out, but it still needs to be addressed with specialized brushes like Danielle's using. Now, what, what kind of brush is that, Danielle? It's a Chris Christensen coral brush, and you can see just about how much comes out every time, I guess. So. <laughs> Chris Christensen coral brush. Yeah. Is that is that um, anything like a Furminator? It's nothing like no, it, is it? nothing like a Furminator. It's an actual slicker brush with long tines, so it gets down into the bottom of the skin and it's it's not as rough as some of the other ones so it gets down and it gets all that loose soft hair like this that comes out that's very fine this is what huskies akitas you know malamutes um all the dogs newfoundlands like that have that's that dead coat that resides down at the skin level here that needs to be released out so when that gets impacted in there like he was a little impacted because of the surgery but he's okay now um when that gets impacted in there it it creates a mess like if you see on his head here he's got quite a bit of impacted hair that's why it's chunky looking oh, rather yeah. than smooth so that's all going to come out when i'm finished brushing so much right smooth back. looks like where is there so smooth would be here where i can go all the way to the bottom of the skin and there's no anything so there's right. his skin right there there's right. not a, there's not a chunk there's not a mat there's nothing right here so that's all brushed out and smooth whereas you this you can just look at it and you can see it's you can all, see it kind of naughty yeah and, it's all kind of naughty and, so yep Yep. That's and all dead coat together. that comes out. <laughs> That's dead coat that comes out, right. Yeah. And the um, brushing obviously facilitates it, but so does the blow dry. Yeah, and of so course the shampoo and starch. The, the blow dryer I can just turn on real quick. I'll just grab it. And then it's going to, I'll actually demonstrate on Chase for you. Okay. She's going to do a quick demonstration. So you can see it goes all the way to the skin here. It goes to the skin. There's nothing here whatsoever There's now. nothing there. All the mats and all the... Head, you see all the chunky parts here. Yes. So all that's got to come out now. Whereas that is 100% brushed out, clear, beautiful gotcha. skin, nothing there. Uh, gotcha. So that's the idea. In case you couldn't hear her, what she was saying when she was showing you the blow dry aspect, how it gets right to the skin, of course, and when it's clear there's no clumps and no mats that means the hair yeah. is in proper condition it's been brushed out and it's releasing, and it's, it's so releasing. this is not brushed hair this is all hair that just blew out of him and as i'm sure you can probably see in the back of my hair <laughs> there's a ton in my hair as well that's all hair that just actually there you go <laughs> that just releases that's all hair that releases out from the skin that needs to come out so their skin can breathe so they don't get anything stuck to the skin if they don't get the hair maintained properly um, the, the hair packs down, it becomes what we call impacted. So it packs down on the coat. When it packs down on the coat, it doesn't have any air. So yeah. there's lots of bacteria, water, things like that gets Get stuck in there. Get trapped in there, right? Exactly, yeah. and causes sores and things like that. These guys should be maintained ideally 
every four, if not mandatory every eight weeks. Gotcha. So they, these double coats are very hard to maintain, especially with long coat. And, and would you suggest that for a regular husky too, even yes. if it's not a wooly coat? Uh, these yep. are long hair, so you would say every yep. four to eight weeks. Um, it's, it definitely helps. It maintains everything because while people say they only shed twice a year, they shed all year long. <laughs> <laughs> I maintain my Akita that I had that was also a, uh, a long coated Akita uh, every two weeks because she was just immensely coated, even more so than Chase here. She had a lot more hair. So, I, obviously we wouldn't expect most people to be able to do every two weeks, but because I'm a groomer, she got that every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then she never had any issues. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha. Very interesting. Well, thank you, Danielle. You're welcome. Appreciate the explanation. And I'm just going to step down and show you Chase one more view. I'm stepping out of her van now. And that's how she does it. You might have seen my other husky lurking around. That was Princess. <laughs> Princess is 15 years old now. And she's going to be next in the tub here. Here she is. She's getting ready. Pretty, pretty Princess. She's getting ready for her groom today. And Chase will be getting done and be able to go back and play with the rest of his wolf pack, who are Jag and Zaro. Bonus and of mobile. <laughs> what's that? Bonus of mobile. But that's right, the bonus of mobile. They get to jump out and play. They get to jump out and play. <laughs> they they don't have to go into um, a kennel. crate or a kennel yeah. to uh, to wait to be and picked you can up. See he's completely. Uh, not bothered at all. That's yes. the beauty of mobile. He's happy. He's happy. I, I always suggest if you can get him cleaned, groomed, mobile, that's the way to go. And um, <laughs> I don't have the knowledge enough to do it. It's really hard. You need a professional groomer, especially when you're talking double-coated dogs. And to add one more curveball on here, double-coat it with long hair, which is a woolly coat. That's just, uh, <laughs> again, I'll give you a view once more of the hair. That all came off of him. That's all today's groom. And that's not even him blowing his coat fully yet, no. is it? No. no. So that's where we're at right now, also, folks. Yes. I didn't shave it, people. The vet did all <laughs> yes, of this. Yes. It wasn't me. I know not to shave double-coated dogs. Yeah, never shave a double-coated dog. <laughs> She's just showing you he had some surgery on his paw. Yeah. He's doing well now just to remove a cyst that was there, a benign cyst, as I mentioned earlier. So this is the first time we're able to groom him yeah. in about uh, six to eight weeks. So he missed yeah. a groom or so. So that's it. I'm Wolf Driver. If you didn't get a chance to see this video, please, from the beginning, please go back and look at it because Danielle said some really good pointers here and uh, can help people that are grooming their own dogs or when they take their dogs to get groomed, especially if you have double-coated dogs like Huskies, and uh, what you might want to mention to the groomer or ask questions to qualify the groomer that you may hire. Um, again, that's Princess. And I'm the Wolf Driver, signing off. I look forward to see you on any of these Husky channels. I'll be um, roaming the airwaves here on Facebook Husky channels. You can look me up on wolfdriver.com. That's W-O-O-F, as in wolf like a dog, driver.com. And I look forward to hearing from you and talking to you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again.